this Excel video is about the way it looks, the appearance, the aesthetics. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to fill in a cell. Let's say that I wanted my viewer to really notice the total that I'm spending that month. I could highlight the cells that I want to be filled in, then go to my little paint bucket, the same as it is on Microsoft Documents, choose the color that I want to fill it in, and click it and notice how those two filled. Now whoever's looking at this is going to put their eyes right to this amount immediately. Let's say that for some reason we wanted to just change the color of the text. For example, my warning. If I wanted that to be more visible to people, I could choose, put the warning in, uh, let's see, how about green, and there we go, my warning's in green. I could also make it nicer, I could say, let me fill it in green, color it in white, maybe that's a little nicer to see. Okay, let's say that I want to make borders around this entire thing so that my viewer can see lines around it um, showing each, each column and row. I could go to this icon up here and select what kind of borders I want. Let's say I want all borders. I made all the borders in the selected area. Now I could highlight what I wanted and let's say I want a thicker border on the outside. There we go. Um, if I wanted to move around the words, let's say I wanted these ones to be instead of on left on the left side, I could center them the same way you would in a Microsoft document. Or um, how about this one? Let's say that these categories, right now they're in a random order. Let's say I wanted to put them alphabetically. I'll leave my net income here at the top because remember we based all of our equations from that net income. And these are the categories that I really figured out. If I wanted to sort those alphabetically, I could highlight them. Let me do that again. To highlight them, I clicked on the row that I wanted, and then I dragged down to where I wanted to start. So it'll only sort the ones I've highlighted. I highlighted the whole row so that not only will it sort these words, but it'll bring the information with it. So I can go to Sort and Filter. And then I can click sort A to Z would be start with A and then go down to Z. Notice how it sorted them for me. All my numbers stayed the same. I, it just shifted them around a little bit. Let's say that I don't like that and I wish I didn't do that. I can always click undo just like you would in any other document. But I do like that so we'll redo what we did. Don't forget to save. You're ready to move on to your pie chart.